Good afternoon, people. Mr. Well, comment ain't playing in the rain today, any? <laughs> well, go in your hut, pal. Go in your wee shed, you mate. In your home. You don't like the rain, eh? So, guys, I wanted to speak about today's situation awareness. I made a video there uh, a few while back, yeah? And one of the previous ones, yeah? And I said about youngsters being be getting taught to be situational awareness, being aware of their, their surroundings, guys, yeah. And what came to my mind there was, you have got a set of keys, guys. It's a very, very good tip to teach a, a youngster. Now, if I say young girl, say 13, 14, I always try and tell them to stay away from the sides of the water, you know, and I'm trying to stay in the centre. You see somebody coming over the other side of the road. Just walk over. If they walk over and you walk back again, they walk back again, and then you know to sprint. Right, put your foot down. Get going, guys. Don't stand and ask questions. Whatever, just leg it. So there's something all right if he's transferring his shell over the other side to the other side. You know what I'm saying, guys? Now, this is a great tip. Teaching a youngster to put a set of keys in their hands and turning that into a weapon now. And I'll tell you why, guys. Now, I've got even a young girl scratching, right, a scratching mark, so yeah. So now they've left a mark on the assailant. Now, I've saw cases where guys have been found guilty because they've been proving that that match up to the youngster who is deceased. So it's a great, great tip, guys, for even a young lad, yeah, not, not to uh, turn it into a weapon as such. I'm all about self-defence here for young girls or young lads walking home and something goes deep down through these monsters amongst them as I call it and it's a great great little safety tip and not only that guys it could all go wrong I just say just let's just say the, the victim was deceased and it's been proven on a few of them that their house keys and youngsters tend to feel all sorts of nonsense on their keys and all that guys and it gives them something to hold on to and something to grab on to and make it a weapon. Now, if that's on somebody, just say they've been picked up on CCTV, guys. Let's just say this. And then they're able to match their home house keys to uh, a wound on their face or head or whatever. And it has been done in the past. That's a great way of getting a guilty on a beast in it if, if it's went all wrong for... The victim. So I think it's a great tip to teach some youngsters and uh, if they're walking home at late at night, it's getting that time of night and they see somebody coming and they cross the opposite side guys, they go on that side, someone's coming, they go on that side. My advice is to go hey, and put the foot down and leg it. But if they do get caught, now you're teaching them how to put something in their hand and turn it into a weapon and even if it's a scratching motion or leaving a mark on that beast which could maybe and hopefully be related to that crime and maybe get him guilty. So yeah guys, here we go. I think that's a great new tip from that one, boy boy. Eh. And see when it's raining guys, I always go back in time in my head because I find it very, very hypnotizing, yeah. The sound. And that was coming down a wee bit harder there under my porch. Porch, and you can hear it a lot better. But in a van, I was just thinking, you can maybe hear it better today. If it got a bit heavier, I find it very, very hypnotising, guys. Very peaceful. Takes you back in time to when you're camping or on a caravan. And that. You know what I'm saying, guys? And, um, yeah, on that one, I used to study hypnotism back oh, a lot of years ago, I studied it for a year or two. Hypnotism, the word mesmerise comes from a guy called Franz Mesmer. And what happened was, Dr Mesmer, they were in the, we'll say, somebody was going to get a tooth taken out. Surgery in the old days, 18th century, the candles flickering. And he noticed the lady staring at the candle and she was hypnotised. He's seen her head swaying back and forth and this is where, because he was Dr. Mesmer, the word mesmerised came from guys. Later to be changed into hypnotised. 
There's a wee interesting fact for you guys. A useless right enough, but there you go from the tells, man. I miss your blue boys watching me like a hawk, because you never got in the van there. Oh, I should have brought you in, mate. I was hoping to hear the patter patter there, guys, on the roof, and uh, I find it very, very, very relaxing, guys, you know, when you hear that patter patter. And we covered that the bit of, not so much self defence, but being aware for the youngsters walking up and down the roads, guys, home at night. And I think it's a great thing to teach them how to put a set of keys and basics in their hand, their hands and just turn it into a weapon. And if it all goes wrong, leave the mark on the, the monster which attacked them. And hopefully, inshallah, as well, they would be found guilty with it. And that'd be a great thing, would it? Yes. So there you go. I was hoping to hear the part of that. I remember what to guys to this start and just see a bit. So, Mr. Blue Boy. You want your steak, mate? I made your steak, do lad? You can spot with you again. Every day you get spoiled, guys. <laughs> oh, you're performing, mate. Okay. Come on, lad. Peace out. Peace.